Folks, I'm uh, going to show today how to um, get home out of audio on a piece of video. I had a, a subscriber recently ask, how do I get rid of a home? Well, here is a video that I just shot, and it's me talking, and I'm going to put an input. Uh, let's pull this back over here a little bit. I'm going to put a mark in there so I know where to come in on this piece of video. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. So we can see here what I've got. I don't want to go on the rest of this. Let's go ahead and pull this down onto a tile. I actually don't have a sequence built yet. Let's do a new sequence. I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, uh, which is my you know editor of choice. I'm going to leave this sequence one. I have AVC 1080p, and I did shoot this in 1080p 30, so I think it probably we'll go ahead and take if not I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and accept whatever premiere gives me here yeah that's right Have the right kind of sequence going I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit on it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the audio here so I can see and you can see here there's a good bit of uh, audio hum in that right there this is me starting to talk here I'm sure let's take a look see hello everybody Tony here today and I've had a so how do we get rid of this? Um, well, you know, there are a number of ways you can go in and EQ it. You can try to do it inside of Premiere. I personally would rather go ahead and just get rid, get rid of this and edit this in Audition. So I have Adobe Audition. If you are a subscriber to Adobe Creative Cloud, which that's what I do. You know, it costs about 49 bucks a month to subscribe. And... Uh, Folks, I know that's, that seems expensive to a lot of people, but if you're really serious about doing video, you'll go ahead and, and invest in some sort of package, and actually $49 a month, considering you get a whole lot of other programs in Design Dreamweaver. <clears throat> I mean, other programs you might or might not use, but you know, also for video, you're getting Audition along with it. You're getting, uh, uh, you know, do you what their color speed grade and stuff like that, and there, I'll, I'll do some tutorials in the future on those. But here we go. Let's just go ahead and talk about what's this audio and what's wrong with it naturally. We've got that hum there. Now, there are a lot of creative little things I could do to try to get rid of this without doing the shortcut, but I'll, let's do it the easy way, right? Uh, I kind of purposefully, since I knew I had hum in the environment where I was shooting, I tried to record about four or five seconds of nothing before I said anything. And so I've got a good second and a half here. You can see the 1.5 up here where I've not recorded anything uh, and just let that hum go. And that's what you want to do in these situations. I have done this thousands of times, folks. Uh, the world's worst is interviewing a doctor when he's sitting in an MRI suite because you got that crazy hum of CT scanners and MRIs and they make all kinds of bizarre noises. So if you can isolate that noise, if you can get everybody to sit still and really quiet for three or four seconds, and you can sort of pull a sample of what's making the noise here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to highlight this right here. And when you bring this up in yours and your editor, it might not look exactly the same as this. Uh, but you know, like I say, I'm sure almost all really good quality audio editors now, and particularly uh, Audition, are going to have this function. So I'm going to highlight this section that I want to get rid of, right? I'm going to go over here under Effects. And I'm going to do, uh, I could go to audio heal section, but I, instead I'm going to go down here to noise reduction restoration. I'm going to capture the noise print. So what I'm actually doing, I'm actually capturing the pattern of this hum. And uh, hopefully the hum won't change over time or this won't work. But if you're in a place where you got this, you know, crazy, like uh, the, the sound of an air system, like what we have in this, this is the, the classic problem, right? So I've now captured the noise print of this. So now that I've captured that noise print, I want to deselect that so it's not there. Now I'm going to go up over here under um, Effects and back down again. And I'm going to do uh, Noise Reduction Process. And so here we go. We, we can, we're able to see basically what the profile of the hum is and some defaults come up. It's going to reduce it, reduce the hum by 24 decibels and about 80 percent. And you know you don't want to go too high with it. We can try 100 percent. I'll show you what happens. You sort of start to lose some of the quality of the good audio too. So let's just do a little preview and see what this sounds like. Hello everybody, Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. 
Okay, that sounds actually not too bad. Let's take this up to 100%, and I'm going to turn this up just a little bit so we can hear a little better. Let's go to 100%, and I'll show you. Let's see if it's, uh, on some pieces of video, if the hum is so well defined, you can even go up to 100% and get rid of it. Let's see what this sounds like, though. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. So you're starting to hear me sound kind of a little artificial. Let's try this back at 80 again and see if it makes a difference. Let's try one more time. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. You know, it's not terrible. Uh, either way, we we got a we got a problem there. There's probably not a whole lot of of graceful way to get out of this. What we've done, we've at least made it where we can understand the audio. If we do this, uh, well, I guess what I was trying to get out there a minute ago, you can overdo this. And uh, there have been situations, you, know, you might even go to 100% on this one. If you go to 60, you'll start to hear there's little bits of hum that are still in there now. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. So it's very clear that it's there now. Let's try this at about 85%, and let's see what we'll get happy with here. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. So actually, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. Uh, you know, here you can decide to what extent, how many decibels you want to pull out of the hum, uh, and you can take it on back. You know, once again, it came up by default 24, and I barely even hear it at all. I think 24 is probably sufficient. Let's see if we can tell a difference at like 40. Let's just do it and check it and see what happens. And we'll say play. I've not applied any of this yet. Just doing a sample down here, a preview. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. You know, that's all right. That's pretty good. So, you know, this is really the way I do almost everything. This spectral delay and uh, de decay rate and all that, I don't usually mess with that. I have played around with it. I honestly, I'm just trying to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know exactly what all it does. It's smoothing factors of one. Usually this sounds okay, and, and if I put a music bed underneath it, people aren't going to aren't gonna pay any attention to it. I'm going to say apply and okay. And uh, then we should be able to go back. Let's see if I say file save. Okay, should be able. Ah, should be able to toggle back over here to my video, and it should have automatically replaced that bad video. Let's take a look and see if it has. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum. So I'm pretty sure that has. Let's go ahead and put an endpoint here and pull over a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> So here, let's compare the two, the before and the after. Here we go. How to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. Um, so in other words, when you're conducting an interview and you want to get rid of background noise. How so you can see what it's done. Uh, it, has, it has taken out parts of my voice, particularly the low end. So what you might even want to do when you get in a situation like this is go back to this. Control A, let's select it all. You might go to effects and you might go to, uh, I'm not going to do, I'm going to go to filter and EQ, I think, and I'm going to go to graphic EQ. Let's just do 10 bands. Let's just try this and see. And if we might, we might be able to pump me up just a little bit here so I don't sound quite so, so thin and tinny now. I might even take out some of the highs. I mean, I don't really need all this, I don't need a sparkly sound here, do I? We're just talking about a male voice, and I'm thinking probably that might thicken me a little bit. Let's do a check and see. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum. I'm going to toggle uh, loop. In a piece of video. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. Hello, everybody.
Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. Hello, everybody. Tony here today, and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid. I'm gonna do that. That probably thickened me up just a little bit. I'm still gonna sound a little bit hollow, and you know, once again, we're just we're in a very noisy. The the ideal thing is not to even be in this kind of environment to start with. Or to reduce that hum or that rattling noise before. So let's try it now. Rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. Um, so in other words, when you're conducting the interview and you want to get rid of background noise, how do you best get rid of background noise? There we go, folks. I mean, that's the way I would typically do it. I just uh, I, I would start with just you know making sure you've got some background noise recorded by itself so you can isolate it. Pull it into Adobe Audition capture your noise print, uh, try your best to eliminate as much of the hum as you can without eliminating what's essential to making the person sound normal. And once again, yeah, I've lost some highs and stuff here. We can hear it again. Hello everybody, Tony here today and I've had a subscriber ask how to get rid of hum uh, in a piece of video. But let's face it, it's much better than this. Um, so in other words, when you're conducting the interview and you want to get rid of background noise. How and uh, believe me, you can get in some environments where it's really, really, really bad. Now, if you're in a cityscape or, or something like that, now that's a whole different issue. The, the, the backgrounds are changing. The background noise is changing constantly. And I don't really know exactly what to tell you to do to, to get rid of that. You can certainly, there are certainly... Um, re repetitive noises, uh, and you can try to get rid of traffic and stuff like that. But you know, let's face it—a transfer truck, or uh, you know, a Mercedes, or a uh, Harley Davidson sounds different than you know, every car has a different sound. This is mostly useful just in these situations, exactly like what I'm showing here. And so, hopefully, this has helped you, folks. Um, this is the first time I've used a snag it in a while. Uh, didn't uh, so you know, maybe let me know if you like this method of me recording better maybe I'll go back to a screen capture type way so that's it folks Tony saying goodbye peace to all and send me any questions or comments you have thanks